Hello guys, this is your host here, Absurd Pictures, and today we'll be doing something different. Today I'll be answering all the questions that I've piled up over the episodes. And today, to help me, I have my assistant. Hello. Let's get to it. Okay, the first question. What is your ideal setup for filming gear? Thank you for this truly wonderful question. In my opinion, the ideal setup would consist of one or maybe two softboxes, a lavalier mic, and a mirrorless camera, or even better, two. Okay, following up. What was your thought process behind this video? Great video, by the way. It all began once I saw the original version of the emergency broadcast. There was just something so bone-chilling about it that I couldn't fully grasp. I don't know if it was the fear of unknown mixed with despair, or maybe even the atmosphere. I don't know, I have, st I have still a lot to learn to reach that level of presentation. It was truly, truly amazing. Hey, I am wondering what keeps you motivated, what fuels you, and how do you deal with burning out? Great video, by the way, keep it up. I don't know how comprehensible this answer will be, but I just feel such an extraordinary satisfaction when I complete a video. It's just out there for people to praise it or judge it. Either way, I feel acknowledged. I could say that's the most important thing. It's also a competition every time I try to outdo myself and I'm not willing to lose even to myself. And I do burn out quite often, that's why I don't upload for weeks at a time. But then I realize it's my duty as a creator to just keep at it, keep making videos, try and appease you and make you happy. That is my duty as an audiovisualist. Besides, I wouldn't be here without my staff. They tend to work so hard as if it's their last day on earth, so to speak. So I'm really grateful for them, for their help. Any chance you know what size the lens thread is? Wanting to buy a lens for this camera but can't find it anywhere. I don't know if this is what you're looking for, but uh, I found that it's photo filter size is 30 millimeters. So I wish you best of luck in finding a new lens for that camera. If there even is one, I gotta look into that. Hey, it would be cool if you could maybe do some videos about color theory in film for my colorblind ass. Don't worry, we are already adding that to our curriculum. I can't promise it'll come out soon, but we're working on it. Now we're moving on to Discord questions. And here Flat Earther asks, what is the budget camera that you would recommend? I do have one camera in mind. It's a DSLR Canon EOS 200D. It has decent image quality, it has a flip-out screen, and it's small size, it makes it very convenient to carry it around. But again, what matters more is skill and not equipment. Because if you don't have any skill, no matter how pricey or flashy the camera is, you won't make a good video. So I suggest you start uh, from small, and uh, try making uh, videos on your phone first. You can enable the 3x3 three three, uh, grid line to start, learn some theory on this channel. And uh, if you learn the basics and probably research the camera before buying it, then you can move up and uh, buy it and uh, make some videos in a more efficiently. Hope you understood this little rant. Yeah, let's move on to the next question. Hachiman asks, what equipment do you use to make your videos? What inspired you to do YouTube? And what are your future plans in YouTube and life in general? I'll answer them in order, one after another. For a video, I use my Panasonic uh, Lumix G7. It's a mirrorless camera that I quite adore. I also use a GoPro Hero 4 Silver for POV shots. And uh, I also started using my uh, Sony HDR uh, 405XC. You can see the footage right there. And as you can tell, it's pretty nice. It's a Sony camcorder, it's pretty reliable. For audio, I use uh, 
I use my uh, Boya BY-M1 uh, lavalier microphone. It's pretty good, it's, it's, it's very affordable, it costs around 20 euros and as you can tell the sound is pretty fine and uh, I'm recording all of it on my phone I have uh, yet to upgrade to a recorder for my lighting equipment I use two soft boxes they both have different uh, light bulbs that can be dimmed one has uh, one can be dimmed by using the switch you, like you press it once it dims like about 30 percent and the other one uses a remote to dim it and uh, I also have a L116 Viltrox key light. It is pretty bright, small, convenient, and uh, so far it's been very reliable, and I love it. I have also quite the collection of uh, stands and tripods. You can see my two tripods over here and there. I've also got two gorilla pods. One is a smaller one with magnets that can attach to metallic surfaces and the other one is a bigger one, sadly without magnets. And I've also got a GoPro selfie stick that works quite fine as a stand itself. What inspired me to do YouTube? I wanted my work to be recognized, I wanted to be seen, judged, rated, I wanted to be acknowledged essentially. And that's, that's a goal that I will try to achieve no matter what. As for the future plans, they'll stay a little secret, but I can tell you this that soon enough everything will be 10 times bigger, better and more absurd than ever. Oh, it seems I have missed a question on YouTube. Default user 13 asks, where are the girls? Are they gonna return in the future videos? Oh yeah, they. Um, currently they're taking a break from acting right now, but I am certain they'll return sooner or later. We'll just have to wait and see when that happens. Anyways guys, I think we can end the video on this happy note. And as always, stay fr- Uh, sir? What? Oh, there seems to be something wrong here. I don't remember picking out these comments. The name is weird too. Wait. How does he know about expiring? What does he mean, you lie? Boss, you should really tone it down on these bodies. Our department just... It's, it's barely handling these absurd quantities. You should be thankful I'm not applying the same rule to you, Commander. He's been out there for far too long. Who knows how much damage he's caused us already or plans to cause in the future. Please sir, reconsider, he's a special case, we can't really read him that well now that he's reset. If you're truly someone I can rely on, then I expect you to take responsibility, Commander. <laughs> Did you forget already, Commander? I said I'm not applying the same rule to you. Your unwavering loyalty never fails to take me aback. Now go out there and find that traitor. You may use any and all resources at our disposal. Yes, sir.